businesses today are operating in a global environment. This is a part of the globalization trend. A company in Hong Kong could be working with their clients or customers overseas in North America or Europe or anywhere in the world. So the communications requirement is really 7 by 24, no matter in what time zone the customer needs the telecommunications services to be available and at 100% availability at any given time. Network diversity and resiliency in the network really means how the network can react in a failure situation. For example, our network in Verizon Business have multi-layers of diversity built in. At the transmission layer, we use all the different submarine cable systems and terrestrial cable systems, and we have a different type of uh, transmission equipment, and we have the network designed in such a way that it follow a global design and planning guideline, it would ensure maximum diversity and availability in the network. In addition to transmission layer of the diversity and resiliency, at each of the service platform layer, we also have very strict design and planning guidelines and we have additional layers of diversity built in in those product and service platform layer as well. Business continuity has many aspects. It includes disaster recovery, crisis management, and also preparedness for emergency. From a network operator perspective, we have very strict rules and processes in place to support business continuity in our network, in our operating environment but this is really depends on the customer requirement. Every customer, they may have a different requirement. And for some customer, that the network components of the business continuity could only be a small part of the overall scheme of business continuity. Planning the right network would start with the right strategy. A company must have a very clear network strategy in order to come up with the right network plans. We in Verizon Business I'll give you uh, a few of the, the key components of our network strategy when we plan and build the network. Number one, we put a lot of capacity in the network and we will continue to do so. We continue to invest in our network. This is because our customers are demanding more and more capacity as they move data centers across the ocean to different countries. And number two, the customer wants 100% availability. And this is also driven by the globalization trend. The customer wants the service to be available at any time they want because they are running 7 by 24 at different time zones for, for their business requirement. Number three, the customer needs us to be anywhere in the world where the customer business requirements are. So Verizon business strategy is to continue to expand globally and we are taking a number of steps to ensure our networks are built in place to support all those customer requirements. When sourcing for a communications infrastructure vendor, a customer definitely need to work with someone they feel comfortable with. In addition to that, they definitely should look at the infrastructure provider's current network and past performance and they also should look beyond that. They should look at the potential service provider's network strategy and their investment plans because today's network is really very capacity and uh, performance driven. Anyone who does not have a clear network strategy may not meet your future requirements. So a clear network strategy and investment plan is very critical to business success.